Welcome to the solar panel update for November 2022. So this month has been all about finding out if the battery, my eight kilowatt give energy battery is gonna last us the whole day all the way through up to midnight 30 when the cheap rate electricity kicks in again and then I can charge it back to 100%. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 give energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So here we have the month of November as shown in the Solar Edge uh, monitoring system on the web. And as you can see, uh, very much a uh, really strange month, a lot of lows, um, but also a few peaks as you can see throughout the month. So the best day of the month was Friday the 4th of November with 18 kilowatt hours. And the next up was the 25th of November at 14 kilowatt hours. So we had some sort of good odd days here, but then there were also a lot of very bad days uh, all in a row. So three quite bad days there of sort of two kilowatts, but two kilowatts wasn't the lowest. Uh, we had a 1.082, oh, a 0.953 there, 29th of November. So 950 watts that day, really bad. So a lot of these small ones are around a kilowatt hour a day. Uh, that's not really enough to top up the battery. But overall, 180 kilowatt hours for the month, which 30 days in the month works out to be on average, an average day is a six kilowatt hours. So how does that compare to other months? Well, if you saw last month's video, uh, October came out at 476, which wasn't far below September's 530 really. Uh, although in numbers it's a bit larger, I suppose, but on the graph it looks quite close together. But as you can see here, November has dropped right back down. Um, a real shocker. Um, I kind of expected it to be hopefully around the 400 or 350 mark, but we've actually ended up with 180. Um, it'll be interesting to see next month in December, whether December will be even less or reverse and actually go higher than 180 um, than it is at the moment. So not a great month. As you can see, we're on our way down. We're getting into winter now. So Eddie's had 9.3 kilowatt hours this month. Uh, we turned it back on for these first few days in November when we were away for a few days. So we turned it off while we were away and then turned it back on again. But then the heating came on kind of around the 5th of November. So we turned the boiler, the gas boiler back on. And I've really just let the gas boiler heat the hot water now. And I've turned the eddy off. You can see I did turn it back on for a few of the uh, sunnier days just for somewhere to put the kind of excess. Um, but really, I'm letting the boiler deal with the hot water now. Please tell me if I'm doing the wrong thing. I mean, I could let eddy sort of take over if there's any spare energy or any spare solar power. But to be honest, the days are so dark and short. Um, if we're lucky, we just get to sort of uh, fill up the battery again, but there's really not much else left over at the moment. So Eddie is basically being going to be very quiet, I think, until kind of March time in the new year. So this is the Hypervolt dashboard in the browser. So it tells me what I've been using every month. Now, as you can see here in November, massive spike because we've been charging the uh, i3 my wife's i3 not every night of the week but a good kind of four times a week maybe at home overnight on octopus go so in november we used 298 kilowatt hours a big increase from october's when we were only using like 55. now the hypervolt also does record what I've put in my car during the day from the solar panels for free. So I didn't get a lot in November, I must admit, but I may have got, I'll have to, have to probably add it up through the BMW app, but I probably got, I don't know, 10 or 12 um, kilowatt hours 
through the uh, solar panels, but most of this would be through overnight charging. This is in the Octopus Energy dashboard showing us what I've exported for the month, um, for the last few months actually. So November was 25.65 kilowatt hours, which was obviously down from October when I did 60, um, 51 in September, and obviously August was 156. So it's a lot lower. Uh, if we have a look at that daily from November, we can see some days it's literally nothing and some other days we've exported a few kilowatt hours. And now for what electricity has been imported from the grid and used, you can see here for the month of November, 547.1, 547 kilowatt hours imported, mainly because obviously the battery's charging up every night to 100% and because of the uh, I3 on go on the EV tariff overnight charging up as well. Whereas on October, in October we used 166 kilowatt hours. So as you can see throughout the year, um, we've been very low on our import. But basically now because of the battery in the uh, I3, we've been importing a lot more. And this is the month of November, as you can see, not a lot at the beginning of the month. And then a fair bit for the rest of the month. So if I take 547 divided by 30, it's coming out at 18.2 kilowatt hours per day on average, which eight would be going into the battery, I would say every day nearly, and the other 10 on average is going into the car. So this is the Give Energy uh, dashboard in the cloud. So I just wanted to show you this for the month as well. This is the daily uh, battery in, so the grid to battery in kilowatt hours. So the first few days we're away. And then every day, as you can see, it's an eight kilowatt hour battery. And you can see most days I've been filling it to 100% if it's needed it. So eight point, normally most of these numbers are eights and sort of sevens. As you can see, I've been filling that up through the month. And then if we swap that over to just the solar to the battery, you can see how much has been coming in from the panels to fill up the batteries now, more so at the beginning of the month because we weren't here. Uh, but then after that, we've only just been getting kind of maximum of a couple of kilowatts into the uh, or kilowatt hours into the battery uh, in order to top it up. And some days none has gone in at all because it's been so cloudy and dark and rainy. Uh, I just did this little uh, piece of working out on based on the data that I downloaded from Octopus. Now the battery is not been lasting on really bad overcast rainy days and I've worked out that uh, the battery cost us an extra £6.42 for the month based on us taking 15.65 kilowatt hours at 40.1 pence between 8pm and 1230 in the morning when the cheap rate starts up. So I looked at all the data where we were importing uh, power between 8 and 12.30 and it worked out to be £6.42 for the month. So that's going to be important when I come to work out over the winter if it's worth investing in another battery. At the moment it doesn't seem like it is. So for November 2022 as billed by Octopus Energy importing we imported on a day rate 22 kilowatt hours which came to 8.85 at night time 5.25 at seven and a half pence, which comes out to £39.38. We exported 25 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence as we're on Octopus Go, which was which added up to a brilliant one pound and five pence. So 48.23 altogether on electric for the month, minus the one pound and five, gives us 47 pounds and 18 pence. So that's not the hot water anymore, really, in that, just the house and lots of EV charging. So that was electric. Um, I know this is all about solar power and solar panels, but I'm just going to look at the gas now as well, um, just because this is the first month we've had the gas boiler on. So we've had a bill from the 5th of November to the 23rd of November, which is 19 days. Uh, 
and we used a thousand kilowatt hours at 10 pence a kilowatt hour and that came to 107 pounds and 22 pence for those 19 days so now if we look at the standing charges as well so i've worked the gas out to be 16929 for a full month dividing that other total by 19 days and timesing it by 30 the electric we know was 4718 for the month and the standing charges well the gas is 26.84 pence a day times 30 days is 8 pounds and 5 pence the electric is 37.65 pence a day times 30 days gives us 11 pounds 30 so the electric total is 4718 plus 1130 for the standing charge gives us 6653 and for the gas 16929 for the month plus 8 pound and 5 pence standing charge gives us 17734 for the month so the total for the electric and the gas together for November was £243. So, I mean, the electric being £66 for the month is pretty good because that's just over £2 a day on average for the household electric and charging one EV. Uh, the gas, on the other hand, works out to be about, on average, including the standing charge, about £6 per day so far in November. So they were the stats for November 2022. Tune in next month when I'll bring you December stats and hopefully we'll have a better month in December, maybe with some really cold nights and some crisp, clear skies and sunny days to give us some more kilowatt hours in December. Speak to you soon, but don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did. See you soon.